What's good YouTube? Creative House here back with another video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do these little banners or flags or whatever in Blender. So, we're gonna, what we're going to do is hit this new general and I'm going to delete this because I do not want it. Now I want to make this like wavy banner. Why? Because I want to like, let's see. Extrude on a Y, and then I am going to rotate. Bam! Beautiful. Just bring it up a little bit. I'm gonna move that camera out of the way or position it. Let's see. That is what we call clipping, and I hate clipping. So let's see. I just bring it up a little bit because it really doesn't matter. Oh, wait, wrong thing. <laughs> oh, let's see. End. There you go. All right. All right, good. Now, back to this plane. What I like to do is subdivide it. Subdivide. Nope, actually, I create loop cups first. Let's see. bring it out bam and then grab it control B and create these little bevels and then I'm gonna there you go perfecto I like this it looks better but anyway let's go back edit mode a now we can subdivide just a little bit okay that's good enough now what you what I want to do is keep it from falling so I'm gonna just grab that top part up there go to my vertices and assign I ain't I'm not gonna rename it because I don't feel like it all right and then we gonna go over here at cloth. See, see how it just falls. Go back all the way down to shape, and you see pin group, and that's the vertices we create connected. And there you go. It doesn't fall anymore. Now I turn on self collision because sometimes it looks like it's going through itself, and I don't like that. So where is it? Here it is under collision sub collision and you can set that for however many you want bam all right so I am going to bring this down but to like a hundred all right all right and then a cool thing you could do is add a field force wind now it took me a minute to figure out how to do this because at first it seemed like it wasn't working so I just bring it on scale it on up strength and this fall off has a lot to do with it Let's see yeah and it affects the banner in a way that's good get that little wind action going on Boom. Now I'm going to go to shading. Camera. Now what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is move that light. Where is that light? I just saw it. There it is. Over. And I'm going to fix my world settings. I don't really want it to be too bright. I'm, I like this. And then I'm going to just change the texture. I'll make it red for right now. I got dark red. All right, let's play it real quick. That's cool. Now you can't add a displacement, but ah, uh, that's up to you. Now 
Make sure, make sure to save. Alright. All right. Now, we have our animation. And you can make however many you want. But I'm going to just keep it at one for right now. <laughs> I'm going to bring this down some because I know it's going to take forever to render. One quick thing that you will want to make sure that is that you bake your animation so it renders in your final output. So you go down to cache and you, you see here, you want to bake into a certain point, like your end point of your timeline down here is 250 and this is 250. So you, you just hit that bake so you get that uh, animation in your renders. But that's how you make like a banner cloth. If you want to do a flag that way you the same techniques can be applied uh, right now I'm working on something uh, that I'm pretty much cooking up in the blender verse I uh, I recently got into NFT art because I like the idea and I think it's pretty cool so I'm gonna be making stuff specifically for that and there will be little rockets and this one is called Ariel and that's gonna be the first of the collection so I hope you guys check that out check the link in the description I catch you guys next week hit me up on the socials and everything and I see you soon.